Hey, good morning. So, I want to do a little video of a new shoe I'm going to be running in. It's going to be a training shoe, not necessarily a racing shoe, because I've been racing in the Nike Zoom Fly. I have ran three half marathons in them so far. They've been great. But as far as just a regular training shoe, because I have uh, been running in Hoka's for about four, a little over four years. So, I am now going to be running in the Nike Pegasus 34s. This is the ice blue version. This is going to be basically a test to see if I'm fully going to be going to Nike shoes for everything, for racing, training, probably everything except when I go trail running. Because so far, I don't haven't come across a Nike shoe that is a good trail shoe. This is going to be my main training shoe. Uh, I got this out the Las Vegas outlets where the shoe is actually pretty reasonably priced because the 36s are going to be come to shelves really soon. The prices are on these 34s is really, really good, at least for this color. You know, they have the other colors, like the darker blue version that is a little bit more, a little more expensive, but I really like this color. I, I think it's um, a little flashy. So I'm gonna be rocking this color here for a little while. I'm not sure how many pairs of these I'm gonna go through between now and the rest of the training season, but it's probably gonna be a lot. But this will be kind of like the, this will be kind of like the thing or the shoe that will be determining if I'm going to be going Nike for everything but trail running. So, uh, as you can see, these are brand new. See that? They've uh, been, this is the first time actually they've been out of the box. So, I'm going to put them on and go for a little jaunt around the neighborhood and get a, uh, get them tested out. Because so far, the only time I've worn these shoes was inside the store. So, now we're going for a real test run, literally, and we're going to see how this goes out. All right, let's get them on. All right, first impressions. Well, first impression was actually in the Nike store, and they, they feel great. It's actually funny, I, I usually wear a nine and a half shoes. And when I was talking to the sales associates, they said because of the narrow, the narrow feet, I should probably go up half a size. So I actually got a size 10, brought those home, warm around the house, and decided that they didn't feel quite right. So I went back to the store, swapped them out, got the nine and a half, which is a good decision because these feel a lot better just just by having them on. So here's uh, here's what they look like here. Uh, so I'm not doing any special things to tie the shoes here so nothing crazy there as I wiggle around my toes I do feel there is plenty of space like I don't feel there's any crowding here at all and uh, I do like to wear my shoes tight so it is pretty tight right here with these laces and so if I run and it's feel get too tight then I just loosen them up a little bit but um, overall they feel great this uh, material here feels like it's not going to be constricting my my foot so yeah, let's go for a short run here, get it, test these out a bit, and uh, I'll let you know what I think after my short little run. so I wasn't looking to kill it out there. I wasn't looking to do like any type of tempo workout. Just long enough to kind of get my feet used to the shoe, try it out. And so first impressions after about three miles in the shoe because you know when you try a shoe out in the store, 
even though they let you run around a little bit, you still don't get like the full effect of knowing what the shoe is like until you get out on the streets and you just run. And so that's what I got today. Same the obvious, much different from Hoka shoes. Like when you're running with the Hoka, it is like you're running on clouds. Like you are just going and it's just these soft steps and you're just, uh, you're just flying. And so when you run with the Pegasus, the Nike Pegasus 34s, you don't get any of that cushion. So you are getting a really responsive uh, stride. So that's something to get used to uh, because when you go thinking that you're gonna get that same effect that you get from like wearing like the Hoka Clifton's or the Hoka Bondi's, um, you're gonna be slowly disappointed thinking that you're gonna get the exact same thing. And I know that with if it's, when it's a different shoe, people say like, oh yeah, well obviously it's going to be different. But sometimes people don't actually make that distinction and it's like, oh, I'm going to go back to another shoes because it feels so much different. Well, that's why you just got to give yourself time. So I'm going to give myself time to kind of get used to the responsiveness of this shoe over the Hoka uh, Clifton Force, which I was just running in uh, during my last uh, training cycle. But uh, other than that, I think these shoes are great. They still feel great. And like I am not feeling any first signs of pain with my toes or anywhere else on my feet. So I think that these are going to be a great training shoe. I'm looking forward to working with them for the next few months, possibly even longer. And I don't you know, I may even go get the Pegasus 35s later on down the road. But uh, yeah, great test run. So I'm glad you guys were able to join me here as I kind of talked about these shoes for a little bit. So. Um, thanks for watching. Catch you next time when I go do something else, which I'm not sure what it is yet, but uh, hope you guys have a great day, great weekend, and as always, run strong.